all right guys so let's go ahead and show you guys this little greenhouse this is not a walk-in greenhouse it's just a smaller greenhouse but let's just go ahead and get started with the hoyas that i have in here right here i have hoya sipitangensis which is doing very nicely the leaves are getting quite massive compared to the first ones which were like this this other ones are getting you know five times the size as they used to be i have this one growing in coconut husks so here it is hoya sipitangensis um, I also have a little baby cutting of a Callistophylla that's already rooted and it's doing some growth right there as you guys can see it's budding oh it's not budding it's shooting out some little leaf notes so here it is with a Callistophylla I think it's a short leaf version of it there is a long version but I only have the short leaf so here it is um, over here on the side I have uh, Loei Province Poya Loei Province it grew a little, a little leaf right there it's a very nice splashy hoya with the leaves being veiny and splashy and look at the tendril it's just growing massive when i got this hoya it was only one leaf and i've only had this hoya for like about a month but it's also growing a little bud or it's also growing some kind of um little note in there so i'm excited to see if that's going to become a tendril or not but here it is hoya um low AI province um, next to it I have a cutting of my Hoya Glabra which is actually doing very nice and um, it's actually started to grow a tendril right there on the back so that's very exciting here it is Hoya Massive Glabra I've already talked about this Hoya before so I'm not gonna talk about it so much behind it I have Hoya Genevieve which is right here it's nicely sun stressed you can see and it's growing in coconut husks this Hoya is doing really nicely um, it hasn't seemed to be growing right now but it is doing a very nice I am seeing a little bit of growth right there on the side I'm not sure if that's gonna become leaves or a tendril but there it is super nice healthy Hoya and on the side of it I have this is a cutting of my Hoya Bang Nan Noi so here it is um, very nice Hoya getting nice and full super nice and it's actually growing a little tendril right there on the side but here it is this one it's kind of like a polycalyx version but i'm very happy with this one let me put this one here on the side Beak. okay continuing here with the hoyas on the side right here i have hoya this one is hoya surigawensis a lot of people get this hoya sun stress mine has in sun stress because i have it in the greenhouse under a tree so it doesn't really get a lot of um light but look at it it's huge the, the hoya leaves are very nice and glossy it, it's getting quite heavy so i probably need to give this a nice trellis so that it could climb up and probably grow faster um there it is it has it's not growing another tendril it's just getting longer which is very cool as well Over here on the back of it, on the back of Genevieve, I have Hoya Patella. This was the one that I got in my birthday. Look at it. And it is doing quite nice. See, it's growing a tendril, growing new leaves. So it is taking off quite nicely. I like that. It's a very nice Hoya. It's very slow grower for me, so that's something to take in consideration. If you guys have that Hoya, it's a slow grower. Moving Genevieve to the side, I do have uh, Incurvula, which I got this Hoya Incurvula from Gardino's Nursery. It's also doing quite nice. It's actually starting to grow this summer and it's growing a little tender right here on the side, you guys can see. So there it is, Hoya Incurvula. Not one of my favorites, but because um, it hasn't really done much, but it is looking quite nice as well. So not many complaints right there with that one moving this way else here to the side making room for this one this one is Hoya Dr. Ibach it's a slow grower for me it hasn't done much um, the leaves are not special but it is um, beautiful because of the flower so this is Hoya Dr. Ibach I got this a uh, long time ago from Coco Ranch Hoyas and um, I thought it was going to be a fast grower, but for me, it's really not being a fast grower. So, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. It's not dying. It looks healthy. It's just a slow grower. So, yeah, it is growing a little tendril right here on the side. So, that's kind of exciting. <clears throat> Over here behind it, I do have Hoya Jennifer. 
me take it out. I recently watered this Hoyas. I watered these Hoyas recently, so that's why they're wet, of course. But here's Hoya Jennifer. Look at that. Isn't that a nice Hoya? It has kind of like a, you know, reptilian sort of like Jurassic kind of a pattern to the leaf. I got this one from Mexico. Look at this leaf, it's humongous. But yeah, they have very nice veining. Look at that. It's a beautiful Hoya. These two leaves on the on the bottom are the, the oldest, I mean the newest leaves as well as this one. So I am very excited to have it in my collection. I know that a lot of people want it. So there it is. Over here, I have Hoya. Oh shit, it's stuck. It's stuck. Over here, I have Hoya Mathilde. If I could take it out, it's actually stuck. Well, anyways, it's stuck. I'm just gonna go in. I got that's Hoya Mathilde doing it really nicely as well. Very happy with that one. Over here, I have Hoya. This one I got it as a plant trade from Misha. Hoya Crystal. Look at it. The new leaves are bright green and the older leaves are dark green with the splashing very prominent it's one of my favorite hoyas because of the of the splashes but look at this when this one become mature they're gonna get darker green and the splash will be more pronounced it's also doing really nice with the tendrils growing on the sides and the tendril growing on this one as well this one has been a very fast grower it's also growing new leaves right here on the bottom and a tendril growing in there as well so overall very happy with this hoya very very happy with it it's one of my favorites because it's such a quick um grower and deep in the back over here this one is hoya payida hoya bogar look at this hoya super veiny and um a very fast grower look at it the tendrils are just really nice as well um very um sharp edges like if you touch the tips they are very sharp um, but the veins on the leaves and it has like little margins as well uh, a few splashes as well I don't really hear much about this soya but this is one of my favorites because look at it it's just really nice it's very firm it's Cahoya Bogar over here on the side I also have another Hoya which I don't hear a lot of people talk about this is Hoya Coriacea it's one of those hoyas that's not really a hoya. Well, it is a hoya, but it's more like a multiflora in the sense that it grows like this, more terrestrial. I have it in soil as opposed to coconut husks, and it's doing quite nice. Uh, it was very dehydrated, that's why it looks droopy, and I just water it. Um, this one will be repotted to a larger size pot. Um, but yes, it's a very fast grower. Um, and yes, look at it, it's just super nice hoya. Hoya coriacea. I, like I said, I don't really hear many people talk about it. I have other two Hoyas in the back. I have um, Hoya Hot Sun Pine right there. Um, and that's about it. Moving down here to the second lane, let me move the... All right guys, so moving down here to the second lane, I have Hoya Ficherii. Not sure if this is the name of it, but this one I did an unboxing with my mom. Look at the lines. Very veiny lines. The tendrils are growing in nice. It's also growing new leaves right here. So this one is doing quite nice. It does look a little bit flimsy, as you can see. Like it looks all over the place. I probably need to add some trellis so that I could find the, you know, guide the vines to go up. Because it's just all over the place. But this one is really nice. My mom didn't like it, but I did like it a lot. What else do I have here? I have right here, I have the ones that I got recently. This is Hoya, Hoya Limoniaca, which is growing quite fast. Um, I do have an unboxing of this Hoya. But look at the tendril on this one and the leaves are just growing quite fast. Hoya Limoniaca grows very small leaves with veins, splashes. Um, I just like the veins a lot. It kind of looks like the previous one that I showed, that one. But this one, it's just um, a tad bit glossier and shinier. But not much of a difference. What else do I have? I have two Hoya serpents, one right here and one right here. This one is actually growing a petunco right here on the bottom. As you guys can move my finger, there it is. That's the petunco. Very nice Hoya. I'm kind of scared to move it because I'm just scared. 
This one is um, Misha's Sarawak. If you're watching Misha, look at your Sarawak growing a new leaf. So that's very exciting, right? <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, Sarawak. I have a bigger one. This is just a cutting that I'm going to be trading with my friend Misha. Um, over here, I have a forgotten Hoya that was actually dying for me, but it didn't die, so it's actually making a comeback. This is Hoya Wayeri Eye or Hoya Kentiana. I forgot the name of it, but there it is. I don't like it anymore. I just have it in there. If it makes it cool, if not, oh well. Over here, I have Hoya Biola, which is one of my favorite Hoyas because it actually came out to be a very fast grower. Here it is, guys. Look at this Hoya Biola. The leaves are just insane. Massive leaves. The tendril is growing fast. Hoya Biola. It's kind of like a Dekii Carnosa um, mixture. Look at the tendrils. Looks like a peduncle. Could be a peduncle. I'm not sure. Time will tell. But I'm just obsessed with this one because it's so nice. And uh, look at it. It's just such a nice Hoya. Hoya Biola. I'm gonna actually leave this one here on the side. And continuing over here, I have um, Akuta Verigata. This one right here, guys, look at it. Isn't it nice? I forgot the name of this one. Um, I had it, but I just forgot it right now. But the tendril is red. The leaves are like that, like a pot of gold. I got it kind of weird, but yeah, there it is, guys. Look at this Hoya, it's just impressive. One of my favorite Hoyas. Very slow grower, but um, it started taking off right now, so I'm very excited about that. I just got a Hoya Paul Shanley from Serena Hoyas. It's a very small little Hoya, so we're gonna be excited to see this grow and take you guys along with the journey on this Hoya. It's very nicely rooted, you can see the roots. Here's the leaves, and it has like a black margin on the side. And the vein is very prominent. There you go. So Hoya, Paul Shirley. What else do I have in here? Um, I think that's about it. Oh, I over here on the back I have Hoya, um, Comongiana, growing really nicely. But anyways, that's about it for now. That's the Hoyas that I have in this greenhouse. I'll show you guys a little quick view of this Hoya. So I have Hoya Publicalix out here, um, which is starting, which grow flowers for me. These are very fragrant flowers. It doesn't look because it's kind of dark right now, but um, it grew very bright flowers. There you go. And they smell super sweet, like honey. Um, my Hoya Wayetii, that bloom twice for me. Look at the blooms. More blooms over here. Um, what else do I have? I have Hoya Banat Noi over here, which also bloomed for me. It looks quite nice. There you go. And that's about it. This is a old bud of a flower. And this one has another one over here on the bottom. There you go. It's blurry, but it has another one right there. Yeah, so most of my hoas are doing really good and I feel like the water fountain does help them a lot because it just kind of adds to the atmosphere and then this kind of also raises the humidity level around so that's also really cool and yeah that's my hoyas here's the other greenhouse that I have on the side 